Hello, this is Chris at Lifetime Trail Maps, and today I'm going to teach you how to upgrade your app to the newest app version. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to want to start within your current app. So whatever version you're currently running, let's go ahead and get into that app to any of your maps. It doesn't really matter where. You just want to be able to have access to your icons. And the first step is going to be to delete all of our old uh, background maps. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to the upper right hand corner and we're going to tap on the folded map. Next we're going to click on switch map. Next we're going to tap on lifetime maps. And you can see that I've got three different base maps in my list from our older version. So first and foremost, we want to delete any and all maps in this list. The way you're going to do that is you're going to long press the name of the map, and you're going to choose Accept to delete the map. Now, you're going to do that for all the maps that you have in that list until your maps list is completely empty. Uh, we don't want any old maps in that list. All right, so now that we've deleted all of our old base maps, let's go to our home screen. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and upgrade the app. And to upgrade the app, we're going to need to download the app file. You're going to want to find Chrome app on your tablet. As you can see, it's already on my home screen on the bottom left. So let's go ahead and tap Chrome. Now, you can see that it automatically pops up on my particular tablet just because I have already downloaded the file. But in your upper address bar up here at the top, you're going to want to tap www.lifetimetrailmaps.net forward slash update my app then you're gonna hit go or enter and it's gonna bring this dialog box up at the bottom that says this type of file can harm your device do you want to keep the file anyway and you'll notice that that file is the new version 1.0.7 so we're going to say okay and we'll clear those out since I've already done those again all right the file has already been downloaded on my end so let's go to our home screen. Let's swipe up and let's find the My Files app. It may be in your apps or it may be located inside your Google folder. But let's go ahead and tap on My Files. Let's tap on Internal Storage. Let's tap on Download. And down at the bottom here, you can see lifetime 1.0.7.apk. Let's go ahead and tap that. Let's go ahead and answer yes to all the questions. And then down in the corner, you can see where mine says install. Uh, you may have a couple more dialog boxes you have to go through to get to the install button. But let's go ahead and install the app. Okay, now you can see that the app has been installed. At this point, once you've installed the new version, we want to close everything out, all right? So down in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, you can see three little vertical bars. That is called the multi-window button. Your tablet may look a little different or your button may look a little bit different, but when you tap that button, it opens up all of the installed open apps that you have on your screen. In your case, you're going to want to click Close All. I'm just going to go ahead and swipe out the three apps that I don't need. And we are going to go back to our home screen. Next, we want to tap on Settings, the little gear icon in the bottom right-hand corner. We want to scroll down to Apps. We want to scroll down to Lifetime Trail Maps. We want to tap storage. 
and you'll notice in my upper right hand corner it says clear cache we want to go ahead and clear our cache and let's close all of our apps out again with the multi window button and that should put you back at your home screen now your icon for lifetime trail maps has not changed so let's go ahead and tap on that particular icon and you can see the new splash screen with version 1.0.7. You're going to allow location. Now, <clears throat> we need to download the default map, okay? The system has to have a default map in order to function properly. And uh, as always, we have to download the default map if it did not prompt you to download it. So first things first, let's go up here to the upper right hand corner and tap on the folded map. Let's tap on switch map. Now you'll notice it says installed lifetime maps. Let's go ahead and tap on that and you can see that we do not have the default base map in the list. The way we download that default map is in the upper right hand corner. We tap on download new. And we're going to choose the very top map. That is our default map. Tennessee, Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi. Now, if you scroll down the list, you can see lots of other states. And if you want to download those as well, you, uh, feel free. But we must have this top map installed. So let's go ahead and tap on that top map and choose Accept. Now, we can monitor the progress of that map's download by swiping down from the top of the screen. Here you can see it's moving pretty quickly. Uh, we did have some storms last night, so uh, usually our internet moves a little bit quicker. But one of the things about the new maps is they do not have to unpack or unzip any longer. Uh, we eliminated that in 1.0.7 to where the map just installs much quicker. So once this green bar fills up uh, from downloading this map, you'll see that it will just disappear and that means that the map has already been installed. All right, so you can see that that bar has disappeared. Now, let's click the back button on the upper left corner, and let's tap on the refresh button in the upper right corner. And there you can see that it's brought the Tennessee, Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi base map. Let's go ahead and load that map, tap on it. All right, now you can see that that map is on the screen and uh, we still have our trails loaded onto the screen. Depending on your uh, Android version, it may remove your trails off of your screen when you do the update, but that's very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my trails. So after you do your update, you may not see any trails and it's real simple to load them back. All you need to do is tap the folded map icon Overlay Options, Load Lifetime Overlay, and then choose your trails. In this case, I'm going to choose the one with Tennessee. We'll let that process. And there you can see that our trails are back on the screen on top of our brand new maps. All right, let's just double check and make sure we're on version 1.7. And the way we do that is in the upper right hand corner, tap the three dots. And let's click about and there you can see at the top we're lifetime trail maps version 1.0.7 so we have successfully updated to the newest app version now I'm gonna click OK and I want to touch one last thing before I let you go um, you'll notice in the if I tap the upper right hand corner three dots again you'll see global settings if I tap on global settings, a lot of customers want to try to get into some of these settings and change settings around. And uh, that has uh, since I think version 1.0.4 been password protected. So if you come across this section and, you, and it asks you for a password, that doesn't mean that you've forgotten your password or you need to email us to reset your password. It simply means that we do not allow users in this section. So we're gonna cancel out of that. And also in the upper left hand corner, you'll see three horizontal bars. Let's tap that real quick. 
And you'll also see that some of the settings here are in red. Those red settings are also settings that are not user accessible. Um, the reason we did that is just simply because when users had access to all the global settings, um, quite commonly users were changing setting after setting after setting looking for a result and then they would call tech support and uh, ask us to diagnose all sorts of little issues they were having and we were just not able to do it efficiently because we did not know which settings that they had changed so from version 1.0.4 we have optimized all these settings and lock them so that uh, they cannot be changed unless uh, an admin remotes in to change them. That, there's, that's not a bad thing. There's still plenty of things that you can change and uh, you know the stuff in there that's, that's readed out or password protected, there's really nothing in there as a user that you're gonna want to mess with anyway, so it basically safeguards you from messing up and breaking your system. All right, so we'll tap on the screen and uh, that pretty much concludes upgrading to the newest app version. Uh, if there are any questions or you have any comments on this upgrade, please feel free to comment below on the video or you can send us an email to info at lifetimetrailmaps.net and we will address your question or concern as quickly as possible. And uh, thanks again for your support guys and as always, ride safe.